everybody, Lorraine Sish here from stampwithlorraine.com. I'm so glad you can join me today. I have a really fun project that's going to be a step up from the double Z fold card that we did a couple weeks ago. This is going to have a little extra added surprise that's going to be great for anybody, an adult, a kid, anybody's going to love this one. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and don't forget to visit stampwithlorraine.com for more information on this project as well as many others and of course Stampin' Up! information as well. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so here's the wiper card. Little interactive fun there. So I did it with the flower popping up with my little daisies, my logo. Um, so I think that should be fun, but of course you can do this with anything. This could be any image, this could be a saying, it could pop up and say happy birthday or your thanks or whatever. So it's going to be basically the same kind of Z configuration that we did last time, but I'm going to show you how to do the pop-up part. Okay, so we're going to, we're using, of course, the Daisy Lane with the two punches, the regular daisy punch and the medium daisy punch. And we're using colors Smoky Slate, Just Jade, Daffodil Delight, as well as the Misty Moonlight for the cardstock. Starting with eight and a half by four and a quarter. All right, and it's scored at one and a half and three. And we're going to have this fold that way and this one fold this way. So they're opposite. So when you line them up, there we go. You come up with your typical size card when it's all folded. Five and a half by four and a quarter. That looks much better. Okay. And then you can trim, you can decorate your front however you like. I'm just using the in color DSP. I'm going to use the little wood side. And this is going to be just a quarter inch less than the panel that you're covering. So that's going to be two um, by five and a quarter. These little guys will fit right in here. So they will be two by one and a quarter. Then on my background, I'm using the Misty Moonlight. And just to mix it up a little bit, I'm covering this whole piece with one side, sort of the denim looking side. Didn't want anything too busy because the flower's going to pop up there and that's our feature. So we don't want to take away from the shining moment of that flower popping up. Okay, so that gives a little bit more subtle, almost looks like sky perhaps. And of course you can decorate these panels however you like. You can do um, your one and a quarter by four, or since this isn't going to show, I just made it a little shorter. So my piece is one and a quarter by two. And then this one, I just want a variety. I didn't want the whole panel filled the same way. I just wanted it to be a little different. So I just made it a little bit more narrow. So um, this one is three quarters of an inch by four. All right, because that one will show because this is going to be attached to that flap. So this will show all the way down. So just I'll glue those on real quick. Center that up. one on the top. I stamped some daisies in Daffodil Delight and the Smoky Slate. I stamped off on the Smoky Slate because I didn't want it too dark. So I'm just going to color in the centers of my Daffodil Delight. And Make them pop up a little bit. And remember, if you do use this set, you want your daisy to sort of be set up like a compass with your north, south, east, west, 
one of the in-between points because that's the way the punch is going to line up. If it's a little off, you'll never be able to turn it to get it in there. So be conscious of when you're stamping that to put it in the direction of your punch. I'll just quickly punch those out. Okay, I'm going to save this for a little later for the leaves. Okay, and I wanted one daisy to go in the in the corner here because when this was closed, when it was open, it kind of needed something there. So I'm actually going to put it on the fold. So again, I'm arranging my daisy so it's north, south, east, west, so that when it folds, it's going to just catch these few petals on the side here. So I'm going to glue that down so it's not going to like fold any one petal in half. Again, you could decorate however you want, whatever you want in there. I just realized this can be done. So my north-south points are just before the folds. And once that dries, it will it'll fold nicely. So I'll give that a minute to adhere. And then we're going to flip this over. Now here's the tricky part. <laughs> we need another piece of whatever color this is because you want it to blend in, don't want it to stand out. This is going to be just a little short of what this measurement is. So this was one and a half. We're going to go one and three eighths by two and an eighth. So I'm doing an eighth of an inch short, smaller than that because if it's exactly the same size as the fold, it's not going to, you know, stay inside the fold. It'll, it'll, it'll inhibit the fold. So just a little bit, that smidgen shorter. Okay. So then what you want to do with this piece is you want to fold up the corner so it folds right on the crease, I mean right to the corner and right up to the top. Now this doesn't have to be terribly neat <laughs> because it's not going to be seen. Okay, so I'm going to show you first with, although we're going to do it in the blue so it blends in, I think that's going to be a little hard to see on the video. So I'm going to show you with a piece of white right now so you get the concept. And then I'll actually do the real thing in the blue. Okay, so I'll put that aside for a minute. So we have the two and an eighth by one and three eighths. We want to measure this. We're going to leave this outside flap free. We're not going to go there. We're going to make sure that this score line, the diagonal score line, is within the two score lines on your blue strip. Okay, you can be just a little bit down and you want to stay within those score lines. Okay, so you're going to measure that there. When you fold it up, this is where you're going to put some glue dots because this is the only piece that's going to be held down. All right, so that's going to go down on there. So I'm going to do that. Here's my sample. <laughs> I'm going to do that with the blue. I'm going to put my glue dots on that fold right there. And you want this, since it's interactive, you do not want somebody playing with it and have it fall apart. So I like to make sure it's very securely adhered. So that's, I'm going to put four glue dots, three on the edge, one on the tip. Or you could use whatever strong adhesive you like. Glue dots are nice and easy. Oh, that came off. Let me try another one. Okay, so remember we lined it up like this. So you could do that again, and then this time just fold it down. All right, so now it's only adhered to that triangle part. Okay, so remember, fold it up, glue dots on the triangle, fold it down, and then that's what's going to be. Um, you want to make sure that this is within the height. You don't want it hanging down. So that should be nice and easy there. All right, so... Then we're going to take 
a window sheet. Okay, remember, um, Stampin' Up! Shenzi sells the window sheets and packs um, 8.5 by 11. And you can just use any kind of acetate you like. Okay, it's clear, but I'm just going to keep the white paper behind it just to make it easier to cut. Now, this is about a half an inch by two. Again, it's not going to be seen, so I'm just going to cut it by hand. Just cut a rectangle because that's what's going to hold up my daisy so it's not seen so much. All right. Now that acetate, let me keep this on here so that you can see that, is going to go across like this. All right. Now it's okay if it goes a little longer. You'll see how it works once you get the card you know, going. You start playing around with it. You'll see how far you could go here because eventually it's going to be behind this panel and this is going to be attached to here so you, you can't make it go this far but you can make it go a little bit farther if you want it depends how high you want your image or your saying to pop up all right so I'm going to put some glue dots on the end of that acetate again because it's so interactive, I want to make sure it's strong. So I'm going to put two down at the bottom. Maybe I'll even put three. Make a little triangle of them. <laughs> it's such a cute card. People are going to be playing with it. Open, close, open, close. They're going to be wiping away. <laughs> okay, so then you'll just put that right across there. Approximately in the middle. Again, you can kind of play around with your placement. Now on here... We're going to put our image, the part that's going to pop up. And mine is going to be the daisy flowers, of course. I'm going to, on the other one I did all yellow, I'm going to do the two colors on this, the slate and the yellow. I'm just going to glue those together. Offset them so it looks like a fuller flower. And from the stamps that I cut out, I stamped in the section here, I stamped and cut out a stem. Now, obviously, this stem is quite long, and I really wanted just the bigger leaves anyway. So I stamped it out, and then I fussy cut down just so I could get the big stems. And even though I just want the big stems there, and I could have some come forward... You can see there, I kept some of this up here so it makes it easier to adhere the daisy to it. it gives me something something for it to grab onto. All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring this little leaf around. Okay, and now this is going to get put on the acetate. And like I said, it's okay for it to extend a little over, that's quite all right, because I'm going to actually put glue dots on the end here and put my flower, the biggest part of the flower, right there. And you want your image to be face up. Okay, so put a little bit of glue on here just to hold it down. Okay, so now when we fold it, it's laying flat, and then when we pull it open, it's going to pop up once this hits the back of the card. All right, so let's practice, make sure we did it right. This will be here, and when it's hitting the back of the card, it's going to push it up. Ta-da! There you go. So then we're going to put our tape here, um, or glue, whatever, the something strong again. The stamp and seal is quite strong. Okay, there's also the stamp 
um, Panic and Seal Plus, which is even stronger. I'm going to put some on here. And that will go there. And I'm going to put some here. Okay, with the new stamp and seal, just lean it forward and pull it up because it can um, stretch and get a little gummy if you try to go side to side. Just snap it off straight. Okay, so then we're going to line up our card. And there you have the basis of your card. It'll pop up. Isn't that cute? And then you can decorate your card any way you like in front. What I did was a big flower. I punched this one up on dimensional dots. Have that one in the fold like I showed you. And for for these, I used the well said or well written um, the little thinlets, the dies, and I cut them out with the adhesive sheet. So just really quickly, for those of you who are not sure how those work, I'll just show you that real quick. So I have a piece of cardstock, enough to cut my thanks and my butterfly. I'm gonna cut a piece of this adhesive. This comes in 12 by 12 sheets, so you can cut them however size you need them. I'm gonna cut that a similar size. Go this way. That little short. I'm going to peel off the writing part. And stick that to the back of the card stock. Then you'll die cut those. Let me just run that through the die cut machine. The new die cut machine is available to demonstrators now. I didn't buy it yet because mine's pretty good shape. Um, but oh, let me use, get my magnetic sheet here. I can't wait for the mini one. It might be so much easier to keep out on my desk or nearby when I have just little things like this to do. It'll be great. Um, so it will, the big die cut machine will be available to customers no, um, September 1st. So coming up. Just gonna go back and forth a couple times on this. Like my new plates, you should see my old ones. You can hardly see through them. <laughs> I said for this demonstration, I'm gonna use nice clean plates. Okay, so those just pop out. And after you pop all this out, you'll just peel the backing off and it acts like a sticker. And you can put them right onto your um, project there. So that makes it nice and easy for these little detail things. Um, either that or the fine tip glue, but that can get a little messy. But if you have, you know, something long, it's nice and easy to do it this way. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'll have the details on my blog and have fun with your wiper card.